So, as normal, I gave you guys the choice between two different videos last week. You could have chosen to hear beautiful stories of my past, the innocence and blissful ignorance of childhood. But oh no, you little creepers decided to go for that time I accidentally did drugs, which I mean, I should have just assumed that you would. Before we delve down this rabbit hole, I do want to say that I do not condone doing loads of drugs as an effective pastime or use of your life. Do something productive, like go outside, or learn to dance, or bake a cake or something. This is the story of the worst night of my life. So far. So let me set the scene. It was my 18th birthday party. I looked like a young, well, pretty much exactly the same as I do now. I seem to have gained the ability to just not age like a jellyfish or Jennifer Aniston. Because it was my 18th birthday, I had finally transitioned into adulthood and my parents let me have a house party, which was the first house party I'd ever had in my entire life. Cause I'm so cool. I'd been to other people's house parties, which had definitely zero alcohol and we definitely all just sat around playing Scrabble or something. So it's my 18th birthday party. Finally, I'm a responsible adult. My parents bought me one alcoholic drink and left me in the house alone. There was only one rule. Just make sure your friends get home safe by one o'clock in a taxi or their parents will worry. So my friends come around and they bring a little bit of extra alcohol. Naturally, everyone gets a little bit tipsy and one of my friends turns to me and goes, Can I invite some like some other people round? And I, being the sweet little party hosting virgin that I was, replied, Yes, yes you can. Other people sounds like a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Other people are the worst. They don't respect you, your home, or your perfectly reasonable request not to be force-fed a cocktail of drugs. Literally. Remember earlier when I said my parents bought me one alcoholic drink? Well, that one alcoholic drink was a punch, like a cocktail punch, which is a pretty perfect name right now because punch is exactly what I wanted to do to the other people. One of these other people turned up and drunkenly wobbled around my house, then accidentally dropped a Jeffrey into that punch. So a Jeffrey, whilst it might sound like a white middle-aged bank manager man, is actually a term for lots of different unspecified drugs. Just anything you can lay their hands on, it goes in there. I'm sure they have conversations like, mate, what's this drug? I don't know, mate. All right, put it in the Jeffrey. <laughs> it's like a grandmother's soup. My granny used to stand over a steaming pot, go out to her garden where she grew vegetables, get some random vegetables, chuck them in the pot, and it's always going to be healthy, so it's just great, right? Now imagine that granny is, in fact, an international drug lord, her kitchen is a meth lab, and her garden consists of a cannabis patch and some cocaine trees. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how drugs work. So this Jeffrey lands in my punch and all of those mystery drugs, which kind of makes it sound like some kind of messed up game show, dissolve into the drink. I don't know specifically who it was who spiked my drink, but what I do know is that nobody bothered to tell me it had happened. I, celebrating my transition into adulthood, decided I'm gonna have another drink. What could possibly go wrong? As it turns out, quite a lot could go wrong. About 20 minutes go by and me and my friends are starting to feel a bit weird because we've all been drugged. And that is when in my wobbly state, I discovered something quite fundamental to my existence in the universe. I discovered that there are very few places less romantic for a quick kissing session than your parents' kitchen. But that is exactly where me and one of my friends decided, let's just give it a go. So we're just kissing and I'm pretty sure at this point I have my hand on a boob, what? which is kind of weird to talk about, but yeah, there you go. I say I'm pretty sure because for some reason, the details are a little bit hazy because I was drugged. As I have my hand on this boob, what? the worst possible thing that could ever happen when you have a hand on a boob what? did happen. My parents came home what? and my dad walked in. So what did I do? In a normal state of mind, what I'd probably have done is taken my hand away quickly, pretended nothing had happened and blushed a little bit, but I wasn't in a normal state of mind because I'd been drugged. What in fact I did do was this. Hello, Lukey, how was your... I'm a bit busy. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. I turned and screamed into the face of my father, I'm a bit busy. And that was the moment that my parents discovered I'd become a man. A terrible, terrible man. 
And then he left. And we just carried on. Like, nothing had happened. That's actually what happened. We just carried on with the boob. I don't think I ever took my hand off the boob. All right. <laughs> stop talking, Luke. Just stop talking. You don't have to share these things. You might be sat there thinking, wow, it doesn't get much worse than this. Accidentally being drugged, making out with your friend, your dad walking in, and then you screaming at him. But no. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. It gets... So much worse. Remember at the start of the video when I said there was just one rule? Just make sure your friends get home safe by one o'clock in a taxi or their parents will worry. Well... Police. I'd forgotten to get my friends home by 1am, their parents got worried, the police turned up, my friends were on the missing persons register, and I'm off my tits on drug punch! I wobbled over to the front door, luckily I think they just thought we were drunk, so everything was fine, the party was cancelled, my friends went home, and I have never had a birthday party, or any party in fact, ever since. So technically, party wise, I'm still 18 years old, which I'm going to tell myself as I slowly drift through adulthood towards my impending death. The obvious thing that I really need to say is don't slip drugs into other people's drinks. I can't believe I even have to say that, but don't do it. In this situation, obviously I was very lucky because everything turned out okay. But if this happens and you end up in hospital, the doctors might not be able to treat you because they don't know what drugs are in you. So please, 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 please. This might have been a fun story for a YouTube video, but there's a serious message behind it. Do not ever do this. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up right now, right now, and subscribe to my channel right now. This is my, this is my hard sell on, on my channel. Do it. Do it now. Do everything. It's votey vote, votey time. If next week you'd like to take it back to simplicity and have a little Q&A, then click here. Alternatively, next week I am finally cutting this blonde crap out of my hair and I thought I could do something fun with it before it goes. So if next week you'd like to see me dry my hair pink, then click here. <laughs> I don't think that video's gonna win. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Goodbye. I did not go down as far as I thought it would be. <laughs> Bye. All right.